On this videotape, we will be discussing restorative and rehabilitative care. There are several purposes of this module. The first is to discuss rehabilitation and restorative care and how it promotes independence and patient potential. Next, we will re review the goals of restorative care. We will discuss the responsibilities and the role of the home care giver in rehabilitation. We will demonstrate how the in-home care provider can promote self-care for the patient. We will list those activities that make up the activities of daily living. We will explain common comfort and adaptive devices that are used to compensate for motor and sensory loss. We will identify complications of inactivity, both physical and psychological, that affect the restorative or rehabilitative potential of the person that you're caring for in the home. First of all, we're going to discuss disability. Disability is a physical or mental condition which interferes with meeting Maslow's basic human needs. In one of the other modules, we discussed Maslow, a behavioral psychologist who outlined the needs that every human being had in order to live a full life. The effects of disability on Maslow's hierarchy of needs begin at the bottom with the first level or the need for food, water, oxygen, and elimination. Disability also affects the individual's self-esteem, a higher level on Maslow's hierarchy, and also the inability to meet, meet the top level or self-actualization. Restorative care helps disabled individuals return to their highest level of functioning. This includes both physical functioning as well as psychological functioning. Restorative care assists the individual in adjusting to their disability. It emphasizes what abilities still remain and de-emphasizes the focus on those abilities that the person no longer has. Restorative care also focuses on preventing complications. We must remember that restoration and rehabilitation begins when an individual first becomes ill or disabled. And we want to intervene at the earliest possible moment in order to prevent any further deficits. There are two goals of restorative care. The first is physical, and the second is psychological. The physical goals emphasize maintenance of a present level of functioning. In other words, maintaining those abilities that the person has. The second goal under the physical classification is to improve and restore physical function. And the third, and probably most important, is to foster independence and performance of self-care activities to preserve the individual's self-esteem. Psychological goals include adjustment to effects of disability, which may be devastating. It is necessary for the individual to stabilize their economic resources, because as many of you know, illness or injury can drastically drain financial resources.